Hi, I'm Des. Hi, I'm Simon. And we are the founders of Workhorse Bytes. We're a new software development company and we have just completed our first app. It's called Fuzzy Cubes. Fuzzy Cubes is an awesome new puzzle game that takes the best elements of Tetris, Rubik's Cube, small fuzzy creatures, and, and bombs. Uh, this is our first app, so we wanted to basically just kind of show you guys exactly how it works and uh, why we think it's so amazing. All right, we're just gonna jump right in. Right here is the main, men main menu. <laughs> Simple swipe, and we're just gonna jump right in. Okay, now what you're about to see in a couple of seconds is uh, one of the many cinematics that kind of uh, push the, the story along. Now, the nice part about this is there are about 15 of these in the game, and uh, each of them can be skipped if you've already experienced them before. Uh, we also have tutorials uh, that allow you to figure out how to play the game, especially if uh, you're just getting used to the mechanics of it. But they can be skipped as well. Alright, jumping right in. Our objective is to match blocks to the same color side. Okay, touch and drag to move. Tap to drop. Press the rotate button to rotate. And my first objective is to completely cover the side. Okay, one more piece here. I'm gonna fill in the hole, drop it, get a whole bunch of points. As you can see, the game is in a completely three-dimensional environment. Uh, more than one side can be active at any given time. So right here, I just have to look in space and find the active cube, and I keep on playing. As the levels get more advanced, you're gonna have to utilize uh, the plane shift buttons to move pieces from one side onto another. And let's jump to the next level right now. Okay, here we are in uh, episode three, where our fuzzies are plummeting down towards their planet, uh, desperately trying to reconstruct their ship. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, when it gets a little bit more complex, uh, colors will spawn on different sides, so I need to match, for example, the red, uh, yellow cube onto the yellow side. If I don't, if I drop them onto any side that's not the yellow one, then the fuzzies will die! And you do not want that to happen. <laughs> and so once again, the red block, I need to get onto the red side, so I'm just gonna press this red plane shift button here, move it over, drop it, get more points. The gameplay is, mechanic is very intuitive, so uh, once you've got this concept, you can basically play the entire game. Now if you notice when, he, when he's doing the plane shifting, it feels uh, very much so like a, like a Rubik's Cube. Uh, this is one of the features that separates this uh, particular kind of puzzle game from, say, other block style puzzle games. Next we're going to demonstrate uh, how to Diffuse a bomb. Okay, this is a fuzzy bomb. Uh, when a bomb lands, you have to diffuse it, otherwise it'll kill all your fuzzies. And to diffuse it, you just drop a cube of a different color right on top of the bomb. So if the bomb was a green block, I just drop any block that's not green. So last time I just did a blue block, and that completely diffused it. All right, next we're going to showcase uh, another level. As you can see here, we have a completely new background with a completely new theme music. You'll notice for pretty much all of the scenes we've shown you, uh, that's been the case. Uh, we've, we've paid a lot of attention to detail and we, we strive to uh, to provide a unique experience for the uh, for the gamer in each level. During the more complex levels like this one, uh, you're gonna really have to be on your guard because the cubes are dropping a lot faster. If you don't drop, they're gonna hit the surface and if they land on the wrong side, then your fuzzies will die. So you really have to stay on top of things to be able to keep up with it. The gameplay, however, still maintains its uh, simplicity of just touch and drag, 
tap to drop. And it looks very cool and looks very fun. And that's the cool thing about this game is that when you play this in front of a crowd, people will just gather just to kind of see what it is exactly that you're doing. It's usually because they think you're really, really smart. And the gameplay is actually very, very easy, very intuitive to pick up. So I'm kind of going pretty fast without really having to think about it that much. And once you play it for a little bit, anybody will be able to pick it up and play just like I am. Which means you don't have to be really, really smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, email us at workhorsebytes at gmail.com. Or contact us on our Facebook at uh, Fuzzy Cubes the Game. Or even check us out on uh, Twitter under our Workhorse Bites. Alright guys, hope you had fun and thanks for watching. Stay fuzzy.